G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. It's Bloom Day, yay! I'm going to do four coasters for you today. This is my Poinsettia Mold. Love the shape. And I want to go just for a really pale, sort of peachy pink colour today. In the centre, instead of putting crushed rocks or a little swirl, I've got these little adhesive rhinestones. Um, comes in different colours reds, golds, oranges, there's blue, there's all kinds of things, but I'm going to go with the pinks today. I've, I've also got these little flowers and I was attempt, I was thinking of using those as well, but I'm going to go with the other ones. These I'll save for another day because they're both really pretty, but I'm going to do these. They've got this little sticky on the back, which I peeled off, but this one when I was peeling it off, the silver was coming off, so I'm leaving it there. Right. So I'm going to use this Ranger Alcohol Ink Shell Pink, I think. And let's get my gloves on. I'm going to I'm going to use the um, Promarine tabletop today. I'm just going to pop a little bit. Oops, don't drip. A little bit of resin on that. And then we'll stick him down. I don't know whether it'll make any difference or not. I'm just going to put 30 grams in my little cup first. Shall go 40 because I've got four cavities, so it's 10 grams each. So 40, just bear with me, I'm just on the side here because I've got, a, got my scale there. Right, that's my 40 grams. I just put a little, oh, I'm dripping, a little dob on there. I don't know if it's going to make any difference or not, but normally when you have diamantes and things like that, it, it kind of, you know, the air bubbles get trapped in there. So I'll, I'll do this first. Push it down. I am making a little bit of a mess though. Gosh. I guess I could have just poured the resin in and then flipped these over, couldn't I? But I just thought if I do it this way, I might have less chance of getting bubbles, maybe. All right, so my resin has been sitting for 10 minutes, so it's time for me to decant now. Go around there. I mixed up uh, the... Promarine's a one-to-one -one ratio, not a two-to-one ratio, like I'm used to with my Platinum uh, 360+. plus. So I mixed up 125 grams of part A and 115 part, grams of part B, and that gave me 240 grams. So it's about a cup, about one cup full of resin. And I'm just dividing these equally, trying to go equally, cover the top. <laughs> Once I put the rest of my resin in, my white resin, it's going to you know, fill up anyway because the area will get displaced and it'll fill up a little bit more. Make sure that's all gone into all the little points and curves and things. It's a really pretty mold. And then I'll have a look and see <laughs> if I've actually got it centered because I don't know yet. So with the platinum, and not the platinum, I keep saying platinum, promarine, if I start with p, um, I have a, I have a bottle of it, a couple of bottles of it, so I I'll, I'll use that, and not everyone can get the um, platinum 360 plus, so um, I'm just using it for a little while, until my 360 arrives, because I've kind of run out of it as well, <laughs> oh gosh. Right, there's a bubble there. Now I have to get a wriggle on because um, at 25 degrees Celsius, I've only got 17 minutes before, from the time I stop stirring to the time I have to pipe, which is in three minutes. It's only got three minutes. All right, now this, the Ranger, I find it's not all that... Um, What's the word? Concentrated. 
So I might have to put a bit more on. I don't want a lot. Just putting it in the center there and it can do its thing. Hopefully that's enough. I'll put a little bit of, oh no, it's all right. I've got to get a wriggle on. All right, now for my white, just resin, titanium white. Give it a stir. Wipe off the stick. This is a small stick. Wipe off the stick. What I've got left on the stick is what's staying in there. Not very much at all, okay? It's a very, well, white pastes as a whole are very highly pigmented, very dense, very heavy, um, and they like to sink. So you need to have a nice thick resin, which generally your one-to-one -one resins are thick resins anyway. That one's not <laughs> going out in the circle. Um, or if you're not using a thick resin, you need to wait until your resin has thickened up. But yeah, this one, I, I like to wait until my resin's nice and warm. I can feel it, it's nice and warm. It's not hot, but it does need to be warm. Some resins, you might have to wait an hour for them to get to this stage. Other resins, like this one, is only 17 minutes. But you'll just have to practice with the resin that you've got. Keep notes. And um, you know, start with 15 minutes. If it doesn't, if it's blobby on the other side, go to 20 minutes. Wait. If it's still blobby, go to 25 minutes. Wait. If it's still blobby, go to 30 minutes. And like I said, depending on the resin you've got, I have a resin that actually takes an hour before it gets to this nice, warm, thick stage. So don't don't worry too much about what people are saying, like how long the wait time is and the temperature and all that, um, because it's different for each resin. So just Go buy your resin, keep practicing, keep notes, and you will get there. All right, so that's my white. We'll pop it in my little piping bag here. So today I thought I would draw some petals because when I did my other bloom a few days back, I just did, you know, the circles and then pulled through the circles with the stick, which you can do. It's nice and easy. You don't have to worry too much about drawing petals. I'm not real happy with the way that's moving, but never mind. It's too late to change now. Because your alcohol ink wants to move, and if you go putting your alcohol ink in too close to putting your white in, when your alcohol moves, um, your white will move as well, so you can't really add it later, add your, add your alcohol ink later on. Okay, that's, that's quite a big hole. It's probably about four or five millimetres wide. All right, how am I going for time? Yep, all right, 17 minutes is up. Let's do this. Just going to, I'm not squeezing, I'm basically just letting the... Um, resin fall out of the bag on its own because I've got a relatively big hole in the bag so it's just kind of falling out on its own. Round and round we go. That's about it, I think. Next one, same thing. It's up to you how big or small you want to draw your petals. When you draw quite small petals like this, uh, the resin will move and pretty much close up all the little holes that you can see now. Whereas if you do big petals, the resin doesn't close up quite as much and uh, you might be able to see some background through them but I'm not doing background today so I'm not worried about that. Okay I'm just going to push this down and retwist and here we go third one. 
hopefully this works. It's been such a long time since I've actually popped petals. I've been doing other things, you know, I've been doing frogs and lizards and dragons and all kinds of different things just to, you know, change it up a little bit. But you guys have been missing my blooms. I've been told I'm missing your blooms, so thought I better come and do some blooms. All right, last one. So yeah, I thought I'll do a little bit of a peachy, pinky peachy center, and then hopefully that um, little pink diamante will look pretty with the peach, because peaches and pinks are really pretty together. Hopefully I've got enough. So I allowed 10 grams per, <gasps> 10, oh gosh, 10 grams per cavity. It's all right, I think it's all right. So hopefully I've got enough to go around. I'll leave my paper towel right over here out of the way. Gosh, that was nearly a disaster, wasn't it? I don't mind leaving my disasters in. Uh, you guys know that. Put just a little bit more into these here. wasn't sure if I'd have enough, but... Just a little bit into a couple of these if they need it. I was thinking I might kind of drag my stick through and make little points, but I don't think I will. How's that looking so far? All right, stop fiddling, that's enough. <laughs> it's pretty much all gone anyway. All right, now with my little stick, this is where I can just come in and fix up any little blobs that I might have. And just join pieces up if they need joining up. But see that blob there that I've just added? I'll just break that up there. You've got to be careful though because you can disrupt the petal that's below that. So just got to do it really gently. I think that's it. I don't think I need to do any more. I'm not going to do a swirl in the middle um, because what it does is it kind of draws all the petals in and I'm just I just want to leave it like this. So just a light torch just to get some bubbles out. You can if you want to use this but I find that it blows, it just blows all my petals, you know, out of shape. So I don't tend to use it. Um, I'd rather just put my, my setting on really low and just, just go over it really quickly just to get those little surface bubbles that are coming up. Alrighty. You know what, I'm just going to, just going to do this tiny little swirl just in the middle like that. I know I said I wasn't going to, but there's just a few little blobbies in the middle there. Just over the top of that little silver thing. I'm hoping it's in the middle. <laughs> oh, I can't do anything about it now. Alright, just cleaning off my sticks because I'll use those again. Use my sticks again. Alright. Let me get my gloves off. And I can bring you down. Now you can see the ones that I've started first are blooming. Now whatever you do, don't get any alcohol near these, okay? Because if you drop some alcohol in there, you know how alcohol, when it drops, it goes like that and it spreads. So be really, really careful. Like if you're cleaning your hands or you're spraying anything, don't spray anything near this. Um, because, yeah, it'll, it'll really ruin it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Um, now I may, 
later on I'm not going to do a top coat or anything I may later on like just trim the edges with some silver or I may just leave them plain I can see this little petal here it's not joining up with anybody else just gonna do that So they're closing up just beautifully. It is a really easy resin to use for blooms because it just works. It just works, 100%. It just works. Now this was the one I did last, so we need to give it a little bit more time to do its thing because this one up here was first, so it's got a couple of minutes ahead of the others. But you can see there it is working beautifully. And if you like to have, you know how you can see some of those little holes there, the gaps, if you like that, um, rather than having it all closed up like that, um, just pipe a little bit thinner when you're piping and you'll get those little holes in between if you want to see a, a like a top coat colour come through. But um, yeah, these will all close up as well. It'll just take a little bit longer because I did it last. All right. Oh, I'm so excited about these ones. I think they're going to be so beautiful. All right, I will see you a bit later on today in about eight hours and uh, we'll unmold these gorgeous creatures. All right, you guys, I'm super excited. I had to wait till the next day because even last night they were still bendy. So I guess that's one of the downsides with the um, Pro Marine. It takes longer to set. I'm just so used to the... Um, 360 plus I can unmold in six to eight hours now I wasn't sure if I told you the name of this one that I used it's called shell pink by Ranger and then of course the just resin titanium white is what I used for the petals now this one here um, that was the last one that I did and it didn't close up oh, well I didn't think it was closing up as well as it should so I got my heat gun out it was just on this side and I sort of blew it a little bit on that on that side but this side still hasn't it like it hasn't bloomed as well as the rest of everything should have but um, hopefully it will still be pretty a little bit of overflow there always makes it a little bit of a hangover there and then it sticks a bit all right let's get all of these out so I'm hoping they're well I'm hoping they're all gonna be really amazing but um, yeah this one I'm just a bit worried about this one hopefully it's still going to look all right but um, next time, if I, when I do four again, I think I'm just going to start a minute earlier. Um, only because by the time I get around to finishing them all, find somewhere to put my mould, um, my time's kind of up and you can see through there how it hasn't really closed up as well. So we'll just maybe put that out of the way. <laughs> no, um, let's get everything out of the way so that we can see what we're focusing on. All right, so this was the first one. <gasps> What do you think? Do you think it's going to work? All right, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Oh, wow. Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened to my pink crystals? I did put it down the right way, didn't I? Oh, they've gone. Where'd my pink crystals go? Oh, wow. They've vanished. I think they're still in there. The colours come out of them, though. Oh, what a shame. My poor pink crystals. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I'm probably going to have to put a top coat on that with some more crystals. Oh, what a, what a shame. All right, let's have a look at this one. Oh, no, <laughs> same thing. I've got little mirrors in the middle. I can see the little bumps of where the where they were but obviously the the pink colors come off and then what's left behind is just clear so you can see right through to the back oh, I did 
didn't know. I didn't know it was going to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, never mind. Here we go again. Oh, look, they, they can be saved. It just means putting a top coat on with some more glitter. I don't know whether I'll, I'll bother, seriously. Okay, and then that one. You can see how it hasn't closed up all the way. Wow. They've worked really pretty though, except for the centers. Oh, I was so looking forward to those centers being really pretty. I'm just gonna throw that one away. Got gone, we've got three. <laughs> we have three coasters. Um, let's have a look and see what they would look like on the background. Nope, that's no good. See, that's what they would look like with a, a black background. It's one little bubble there, one little bubble. So there we go, um, a win and a fail, I guess. I did not know about those. I'll have to remember not to use them in resin anymore. All right, so, um, no, I'm not gonna spend time fixing them. I'll just learn from that mistake and I'll do them again, I'll do them again. White with the peach, I'm loving the peach. Like, look at the colors, they look really pretty. You could stick something in the middle, I guess, if you just wanted to use them as decoration. But, um, yeah, never mind. We can't always have wins, can we? But they're still really pretty, except for, <laughs> except for the, the silver middle. If you painted silver on the edge, it would match, wouldn't it? Oh, let's do that and see what it looks like. Real quick, hang on, wait there. This is the Deco Color. It doesn't know what to focus on. The Deco Color Premium in silver. All right, so because we've got the silver center, we'll just go around. Let's go really quickly, see if I can get the edge on silver. So what I'm doing is, because it's got a round nib and it's a bit tricky to use, I am putting my pen on the angle like that. Can you see that? It's a bit tricky for me to do while I'm holding it like that for you to see, but round we go. Might be easier doing it down here actually. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. Try to be quick. Actually, I'm just trying to get the, the tip there. Look, I'll just get the tip so that we can actually see the silver. Just push on the top of it so we can actually see the silver and then and then everyone will think it's supposed to be like that hey <laughs> you won't tell anyone will you you know you can always try to save your piece if, if you're not happy with it if it hasn't worked the way you wanted it to don't throw it out except for that one over there that one didn't bloom properly I'm throwing it out it's a hair um, but, but you know, try and try and do it, see what you can do to save it. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But um, yeah, apart from putting a top coat over this with some more little um, bit of glitter or something, you could do. It's really disappointing, though, isn't it, that that's happened? I mean, it would have been so beautiful if if that colour hadn't all come off the silver backing there, like it's. It's just a real shame. But anyway, there it is. Now we can just say that that's how it's supposed to be because it's got the silver in the center and the silver edge. And no one will know. <laughs> yeah, except the few thousand people that have watched this video. <laughs> Never mind. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna definitely do, do these again. I'm gonna start a minute earlier. Um, probably won't cut my hole in the bag quite so big. So it's a little bit, a little bit more delicate, the petals, and um, we'll definitely go again. So thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you all. 
and I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care. Bye for now.